bienvenue dans le studio blanc de Paloma à l'occasion du festival This is not a love song. Nous sommes ensemble pendant une demi-heure pour cette session Ferra Rock. This is not a live song consacré maintenant à Michael Kroning. Bonjour, bienvenue. Hello, we are for 30 minutes or so in this white studio in Paloma for the This is not a live song. While the, while during the festival, This is not a love song. Thank you for being here. Thanks for Let's enjoy a few songs and chat afterwards. Thanks.
Merci, merci beaucoup à Michael Cronin. Merci beaucoup d'avoir accepté cette session live pour les radios Ferrarock, alors que vous venez de finir votre balance et que vous serez dans très peu de temps sur scène. Explaining a bit the hurdle that I had, that was to thank you for coming around because we know that you just had your sound check, that you're waiting for your meal time, and then you're going to play afterwards. So thank you very much for oh, yeah. showing up. Thanks for having us. Yeah. D'autant plus que hier vous étiez euh, euh, au Primavera, donc ça, de, ça doit vouloir dire aussi beaucoup de fatigue. Uh, all in all, it means that you must have a kind of a busy time and uh, all the fatigue with it because yesterday you were in Barcelona, that's kind of a road. Uh, how, yeah. how is it on, on the road at the moment? How do you feel? Oh, it's good. We just started this tour. Um, yesterday was our first date at Primavera. Okay, so um, not tired yet. A it's still a little jet laggy, but not, not too bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Donc euh, pour, pour l'instant c'est juste le début donc euh, ils sont pas encore juste un peu jet lagués encore. À l'actualité euh, c'est la sortie de ce nouvel album euh, le, le mois euh, dernier, un album dont on va parler qui a été euh, conçu hein, dans des conditions particulières alors même que vous étiez euh, en tournée donc vous avez beaucoup voyagé euh, quand vous avez euh, écrit euh, cet album et euh, est-ce que ça a justement été difficile est-ce que ça a fait bouger les choses dans votre manière de composer? 
besides the news of the, the tour, the album was released quite recently. Yeah. And uh, still, it sounds like uh, it was recorded uh, during another tour with uh, Ty Segal. So yeah. that, that was, uh, how did you manage with it? And did it influence the way of uh, writing and thinking about an album coming up? Um, yeah, it was just a busy time, you know, just touring. And then I'd immediately go to the studio and work for as long as I could until the next tour. Um, wrote a lot on the on the road, like wrote a lot of lyrics and stuff. Um, I mean, it was good. It was it was good to keep playing. You know, I was playing music. It was different from what I play with Ty Siegel, but um, yeah, it really kept me in the mindset. So I was just totally focused on music for the last half of last year. Donc euh, en gros tout s'est passé un peu en concomitance, il y avait des moments où il rentrait aux états unis et quand il ne jouait pas, bah, il composait et donc du coup ça lui permettait de rester dans un état de permanence de jouer de la musique et d'être dans cet état d'esprit où ça lui permettait de, de composer en fait. ah, J'ai l'impression qu'il est euh, curieux et euh, ouvert sur le monde euh, j'ai découvert un instrument que je ne connaissais pas euh, sur, euh, sur son album, le Zura, dont il, dont il joue. Donc un instrument qu'il a acheté, je crois, en, en Grèce et qu'il a euh, utilisé. Ça veut dire qu'il a euh, toujours euh, cette envie-là de découvrir d'autres choses, alors même qu'il est, euh, par exemple, en tournée. Ou voilà. So, somehow the question would be, uh, are you the kind of a person that cannot settle down? Because while it, it says uh, that uh, on this album, you bought this uh, Tsuras uh, in Greece, uh, this, this sort of a guitar, Greek guitar. Yeah, yeah. And uh, do you feel the need of uh, always uh, searching and looking out for things? And are you a, a workaholic somehow? <laughs> um, no, I, I'm def I definitely get very lazy at times. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's just... Uh, It's a good time. I'm really lucky to be able to play music all the time, so I just don't take it for granted. Yeah. Donc, donc, il ne considère pas que le fait de jouer de la musique soit, soit un acquis, donc c'est un plaisir de jouer en permanence, et euh, il lui arrive quand même d'être assez, assez feignant de temps en temps et de, et de se reposer. Ah, ce nouvel album est, euh, est très euh, personnel, avec euh, une, une production et des arrangements euh, très très soignés, euh, luxuriants euh, même. Euh, alors comment ça s'est passé pour le transposer euh, sur, sur scène et aujourd'hui le faire vivre en live All the, all the stories about the construction of this album say that uh, you did it on yourself, everything and everything. Uh, that it's still, it's a bit like a very French Uh, journalists say it's very um, lyrical, many arrangements, uh, yeah. many many <laughs> instruments and everything. Uh, how was the? How did you manage to uh, put it down to other um, musicians? And how did you arrange uh, everything to uh, to make it live? Because uh, still on the album there is a saxophone, uh, strings, and everything. So yeah, I mean it's al it's always um, an adaptation of the recording. You know, playing with the live band and both have their ups and downs um but yeah thankfully i just got a really good group of people to play with me and we added we added a keyboard which helps mm -hmm. with add some parts and, <laughs> um yeah I'm, i'm really happy with it it's it sounds different from the record a lot of the time but um that's okay with me this is like two different things so that's something that you are looking out for just like the record and the life that can be different and the transposition yeah so. I, i definitely feel like they're going to be different, especially if you're adding a bunch of instrumentation on the record. Like, I can't always have strings, quartet, and everything. Um, yeah, so it's just an adaptation. It's kind of, he's figured it out. And um, I, I like them both for different reasons. You know. Oui, donc euh, voilà, le, le fait d'enregistrer un disque et de le faire en live, euh, il sait dès le départ que ça va être deux choses complètement différentes, que c'est un peu le but du jeu aussi de euh, trouver le moyen de transposer euh, ce qui a été enregistré vers euh, ce qui va être joué. Euh, cet album est très euh, personnel et, euh, et là, je trouve que euh, ça sonne vraiment un groupe. Alors, est-ce que c'est facile de faire vivre ces morceaux Est-ce que vous les lâchez aux, aux musiciens que vous avez choisis pour euh, bah, leur donner une nouvelle vie Um, you're described as a writer that, is, uh, that writes uh, personal stuff. And so writing all the album by yourself, is it easy to let go? And because just like you said, to, uh, to have this adaptation and the challenge of uh, putting out an album, a record, and playing it live, you have to let go some parts yeah. and leave, yeah. leave to them the, the way of rearranging it. Yeah, I think it, was, I think it was a little more frustrating to me in the beginning of like maybe my first record and trying mm. to do that live. Like I just, I couldn't. Um, I 
I mean, I've, I've gotten really used to it, and you do. It, it's definitely like compromise, and you have to leave some parts behind. But um, they both they just kind of turned into two totally separate things that. I still like the record and I like the arrangements and everything, but I, I really like how the live band is right now and what we're doing. So, yeah. C'était beaucoup plus difficile à l'époque du premier album et un peu, un peu par la suite de, effectivement, de lâcher prise sur ses morceaux, etc. Mais là, aujourd'hui, il est arrivé à un stade où ça lui, ça lui convient, il sait qu'il doit passer par cette étape-là et que en, sur scène, c'est quelque chose de complètement différent. Euh, la musique que, que vous créez aussi toujours entre... Euh, une, une pop parfois assez sombre ou mélancolique, et puis euh, une influence et une culture garage. Ce sont vos deux grands amours. Comment <rire> uh, do you manage to uh, keep the both sides of uh, this kind of a 60s pop uh, music and still a garage spirit uh, of it? You could just fall into one or just. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. It's just you can you can play pop songs and still be loud. And aggressive with it, so um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's something about the American pop that we don't have in Europe, and people are, are have difficulties to uh, to mix. The, but uh, oh, I see. Okay. Okay. So yeah. non, lui, c'est uh, il aime les deux parties, et c'est c'est comme ça. Mais parce que par exemple, est-ce qu'il fait les balades facilement uh, sur scène, ou là, je trouve le set très uh, efficace et énergique. Do you go easy on ballads on stage, or do you just keep it? Um, we have one that it's quieter. We'll play it in a bit. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, just, I'm used to playing the louder songs, and it's people, people seem engaged with the people the react and the, yeah. the, the engagement. Um, but I'm, I am, I'm really interested in playing some, um, some like quieter. Ones as well, because you know the f it's, that could be an easy joke. But the festival is called "This Is Not a Love Song." What is a love song for you? <laughs> What is a love song to me? Um, I, don't, I don't know. My my, my love songs are always filled with self doubt and and uh, I don't know. <laughs> love is confusing, I guess. That's Sorry about the, the tricky question. No. <laughs> C'était euh, donc euh, voilà, c'est euh, non pour lui, euh, c'est c'est euh, ces chansons d'amour sont toujours un peu avec de l'esprit un peu lourd, etc. Parce que l'amour c'est pas si simple et qu'il y a beaucoup de confusion, etc. Merci euh, en tout cas euh, beaucoup euh, d'être venu euh, jusqu'à nous. On se quitte en musique une nouvelle fois avec beaucoup de plaisir. Thank you very much uh, for coming around. Thanks for having us again. Yeah. And uh, if you may just uh, add a few songs to that, we'll be uh, definitely of happy. Of course. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you.